Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. Today we're going to be cooking a bone-in prime rib of pork with a sake orange ginger glaze. It's going to be epic. Let's get going. All right, here's the start of today's show. A beautiful 7.6 pound bone-in pork roast. This is Kurabudo. It is 100% Berkshire. And my friends over at Snake River Farms totally hooked me up with this. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. We're gonna start off with the seasoning and I'm going to keep it very, very simple. I'm just gonna use some kosher salt. And some coarse ground pepper. All right, so as you can see, I got both sides pretty well. I have the Primo preheated outside to 350 degrees. Let's go out there and start cooking. As I said, Primo is preheated to 350. Let's get this open here. Now for this cook, I am not using additional wood, just the lump charcoal. I have the heat deflector in, so we are cooking with indirect heat. All right, now not too long ago, the USDA lowered their recommended serving temperature for pork from 165 down to 145. Having cooked at the various temperatures, personally, I enjoy it at 150. Now for a piece of pork this large, I'm guessing it's gonna be anywhere from two to two and a half hours of cooking time. In the opening segment of this video, I mentioned an orange ginger sake glaze. That was actually inspired by the fact that this is caribou pork. It's a Japanese word. So let's go ahead and go in the kitchen. We'll rock that glaze out. All right, this glaze is very easy to make, but there's a lot of complex flavors here. So I think you guys are gonna like it. We're gonna start off with one cup of sake, half cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of orange juice, quarter cup of honey, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, one tablespoon of spicy mustard, spicy yellow mustard, about one tablespoon of fresh grated ginger, about one tablespoon of orange zest, one half teaspoon of sesame oil, just going to get this all mixed up. All right, it's looking pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is get this on the stove top. I'm gonna to bring this up to a boil, reduce the heat to a simmer, and I just wanna allow this to reduce down to a nice glaze consistency. All right, we've been cooking now for about an hour, and the Oval XL has been riding this 350 just like a dream. I'm gonna go ahead and check on this, and we're going to baste this roast. So I have that glaze I made. I'm gonna give it its first coating with this really delicious glaze. Whew, it smells really good. Anyway, what I'm gonna do now is just check on it in about 15 or 20 minutes and hit it with a little bit more of that glaze. All right, we are two hours in. We just hit 140. Looks incredible, smells even better. About 20 minutes or so ago, I added the extension rack here and I put on this little aluminum tray with some slices of zucchini, some yellow squash, some little halves of baby white potatoes. I just hit them with a little olive oil, some salt and pepper. By the time this thing's done, resting, ready to eat, they'll be ready to go as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the roast off the Primo onto some paper. I'm just gonna loosely tint it with some foil. We'll let it rest. We'll let that carryover take it to 150 and I'll meet you in the house. And here we are. I cannot tell you how much I want to try this thing. The color I think is gorgeous. The smell is just phenomenal. Let's give this a cut.
beautiful, beautiful. Let's get this plated up. Now I reserved some of that glaze. Now this is the moment I've been waiting for. Very, very, very tender. Wow, good stuff, good stuff. Very, very tender, very, very moist. Has a really nice, pleasant, porky flavor, if that makes any sense. In other words, it has flavor. And that salt that I kind of hit it with made a nice little crust that paired up really nicely, balanced out the sweetness of that glaze. So extremely happy. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.